What's going on, my gaming and virtual reality family? Thank you for tuning in to today's show. And we're going to talk about, is the metaverse dead on arrival? Many are saying yes. However, I'm not ready to throw in the towel and will pose a few points for you to consider as you join the discussion. However, before we get started, check this out. All right, so I started the week sitting around thinking, what should my show be about? So I logged on to the computer, did a little bit of research, and I saw a headline pop up saying, is the metaverse dead? This really sparked something, so I did a little bit more research. I actually did a video, released it on my Instagram, and got a few replies. So I said, this is it. Let's do a show. Is the metaverse dead on arrival? Here we go. Lawyers aren't the only one running to the metaverse. JP Morgan has also purchased land in the metaverse, Decentraland to be exact. If you think the metaverse is dead, I encourage you to take a deeper look. B2B and B2C is gonna be the main areas of the metaverse. People want customers. If you want more news, make sure you follow me, Meta Concepts. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoy seeing how this show came about. So let's go ahead and get the big show started. All right. So with no further ado, let's jump into the topic. Is the metaverse dead on arrival? All right. Let's talk about it. I got three points for you. And my first, how could it be? How could the metaverse be dead on arrival when there's a number of Fortune 100 companies investing heavily into the metaverse? And we're talking about brand names that we purchase and that we love every day. We're talking about Audi, Nike, Microsoft has invested $70 billion, Facebook, $100 billion dollars we also have other companies such as adidas and we even have sports teams the brooklyn nets so let's think about it these companies have found out ways to be successful in every day in our everyday life they have competition in their own industries and now they're all focused on one particular place where they can thrive and create other revenue streams, find new customers, and really expand their entire customer base, if you will. Portfolio, sell different solutions. I mean, it's really a game changer when you think about the companies that I've mentioned and what they can do uh, in the metaverse. So with all this money being invested into these platforms, how can it fail? I don't want to say it's too big to fail, but it's big. <laughs> All right. So let's go on to point two. Point two. Decentraland has been reported to have 56,000 users over a week. How? How can it fail? Right? It's people in Decentraland every hour, every minute of the day exploring talking, socializing, and then you have the Oculus headset, which sold nearly 15 million over the last uh, year or two that the uh, Oculus Quest 2 has been out. And that's the Quest 2. So there's a lot of headsets out there. Consumers invested a lot into the equipment, into the systems, and of course into the gaming as well. So I'm, I'm gonna say it's fair to say It's here to stay. (laughs) All right, so let's go on to point three. It's simply too early to call. It's simply too early to call. If we think a little bit about the evolution of the computers, right? Um, Computers were too big to be in people's homes. Uh, You know, people really didn't think of the many different ways that uh, computers can be used. Your personal computers, and now we even have our phones, which are computers. So this is all new to the world. My point in bringing all this up is, it's simply too early to cut the legs 
off of the metaverse. It's like the internet when the dial-up phase or when computers were using floppy disks. We didn't like it. We didn't love it. But we used it and we found it useful to an extent. But as technology got better, we found ways to really use computers, right? And better ways to save memory. And that's simply how the metaverse is going to be, be as well. We're going to find new ways to develop on plots of land. Businesses are going to figure out ways to do business together. New ways to reach customers. New offerings. Customers are going to find new products in the metaverse. They're going to find new ways to socialize and even work as well. Hey, employers may actually find it to be beneficial as well instead of having office space. The metaverse has endless possibilities. So is the metaverse dead on arrival? In my opinion, it's not. It's simply not. There's too much going in the direction of the metaverse. Family, thank you for tuning in to today's show. And if you like content like this, I'm releasing it all the time. Please think about subscribing and liking this video as well. It'll help the algorithm. And if you like my t-shirt, click the link below. You can get one yourself. Thanks for tuning in and I'll check you out soon. Peace.